Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News. And after her inauguration poem performance, Amanda Gorman shot to a whole new level of very well-deserved fame. So let's break down everything that's happened to her since then. So if you were watching the 2021 presidential inauguration, you probably saw the Obamas strutting in style, you heard Lady Gaga and JLo sing, and you most definitely saw the first female VP, Kamala Harris, get sworn in. And while all of that was equally overwhelming and exciting, one person stood out on this star-studded day like no other. That person is the one and only Amanda Gorman. And what better time to dive into all of Amanda's success than Black History Month? In case you weren't aware, February is Black History Month, and we're thrilled to be honoring and spotlighting Amanda's excellence this month and always. At just 22 years old, Amanda became the youngest inaugural poet in US history as she gave a powerful five and a half minute performance of her poem, The Hill We Climb. And since her speech, Amanda's success has rolled in at full speed and for good reason. Her poem was incredibly moving and while her success seemed to be overnight, Amanda's poetry skills have actually been recognized for years. I mean, how do you think she got the inauguration gig? They certainly don't just invite anyone to speak at events like that. When Amanda was only 16 years old, she was named the Youth Poet Laureate of Los Angeles and three years later she became the first National Youth Poet Laureate while studying sociology at Harvard University. She's also delivered multiple TED Talks and published a children's book called Change Sings. So while you might not have heard of her until Inauguration Day, she's been making waves in the world for a few years. Hence why her seemingly overnight success is so well deserved. Since the inauguration, Amanda has garnered over 3 million Instagram followers, she's made talk show appearances, her face has been painted on murals around the world, and she's graced the cover of Time Magazine. Additionally, her books Change Sings and The Hill We Climb both top the bestseller list in the 24 hours after her inauguration performance. Amanda took to Twitter to share her excitement over the news writing, I am on the floor. My books are number one and number two on Amazon after one day. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting me and my words. As Yates put it, for words alone are certain good, sing then. And in addition to being an incredible poet and speaker, Amanda is now officially a model. While she's shown off her interest in fashion and the fashion industry on social media over the years, just days after her inauguration poem, IMG Models announced that Amanda was signed to their agency. IMG is the same agency that reps models like Gigi and Bella Hadid, Miranda Kerr, Joan Smalls, Hailey Bieber, Cara Delevingne, Carly Kloss, and so many more. And we truly can't wait to see what projects Amanda and IMG work on together. She already landed the spot on Air Mail's coveted international best dress list. She was also the only newcomer to the roster this year, alongside bets of the list like Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Kate Moss, and Iman. And as if all this wasn't enough, the well-deserved opportunities just keep coming Amanda's way. She has had a seriously busy 2021 so far. Late last month, she took to Instagram to reveal that she will be speaking on a global stage yet again. Amanda revealed that she will be the first poet to ever perform during the Super Bowl, writing, quote, What's most exciting for me isn't just the placement of poetry at the forefront of the most watched US television broadcast, but that this poem will honor three heroes who have served their communities during the coronavirus pandemic. I can't wait for the world to hear the stories of these inspiring people making a difference in trying times. Amanda also made sure to note that she'd actually been in communication with the Super Bowl long before her inauguration poem. So hey, it looks like it really was Amanda's time to shine. Her pre-Super Bowl poem was incredible and it beautifully honored the essential workers who seriously deserved it after this tough year. Susie is the ICU nurse manager at a Tampa hospital. Her chronicles prove that even in tragedy, hope is possible. She lost her grandmothers to the pandemic and fights to save other lives. After Amanda's poem, the ICE nurse manager, Susie, even went on to do the official coin toss for the game. And we couldn't possibly be more here for all of Amanda's success. We look forward to continuing to watch her star rise and we need more people like Amanda in this world. We've included the link to Amanda's website where you can buy her books in the description box. And we've also included some additional resources in case you want to get involved and give back this Black History Month. But for more on Amanda, you can click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let us know down in the comments what you think she'll accomplish next. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.